regrouping. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. What is regrouping? Regrouping is when you put together or break apart ones, tens, or hundreds. For example, 10 ones can be regrouped as 110, or 100 can be regrouped as 10 tens. Let's practice. Let's start with adding and regrouping ones. We're going to solve the equation 254 plus 328. We're going to use base 10 form. So to show 254 in base 10 form, we're going to use 200s, 5 10s, and 4 1s. When doing addition, we have to draw both numbers. So we're going to show 328 using 300s, 2 10s, and 8 1s. We have to ask ourselves, can we make a new 10? And in this equation with four ones and eight ones, we can make a new 10. So I'm gonna circle two ones from over here, scoot them over to the eight and make a new 10. That is called regrouping. Now we can finish adding. We have two ones left over. We have eight tens total, including our new 10 that we just made. And we have 500. So our answer is 582. Now we will practice adding and regrouping tens. Let's look at the equation 264 plus 351. Remember in addition, we have to draw both numbers. So we're gonna draw 264 using 200s, six tens, and four ones. And we're gonna draw 351 using 300s, five tens, and one one. Now we have to ask ourselves, can we make a new 10? With four ones and one one, no, we cannot make a new 10. So we would just add the ones. Four plus one equals five. Next, we have to ask ourselves, can we make a new hundred? With six tens and five tens, yes, we can make a new hundred. So we're gonna take four tens from over here, scoot them over to the six tens and make a new hundred. Now that we regrouped, we can finish adding. So we know that we have five ones all together. We have one 10. And now we have six hundreds, including the new hundred that we made. So our answer is 615. Next, we will practice subtracting and regrouping tens to ones. Let's look at the equation 450 minus 218. In subtraction, we only draw the bigger number. So we're gonna draw 450 using four hundreds and five tens. Now we have to ask ourselves, can we subtract the ones? Can we take away eight ones from zero ones? No, so we have to regroup. We will take a 10 from here, scoot it over here, and trade it for 10 ones. Now we can do our subtracting. 10 ones minus eight ones equals two ones. Then we have to subtract our tens. We have to take away one 10, which leaves us with three tens. Then we have to subtract our hundreds. We have to take away two hundreds, which leaves us with two hundreds. So our answer is 232. Last, we will practice subtracting and regrouping hundreds to tens. Let's look at the equation 327 minus 276. In subtraction, we only draw the bigger number. So we're going to draw 327 using three hundreds, two tens, and seven ones. Next, we have to ask ourselves, can we subtract the ones? Can we take away six ones from seven ones? Yes, so we do not need to regroup the tens for ones. So we'll cross out six ones and then move on to the tens. Can we subtract seven tens from two tens? No, so we will have to regroup 100 for 10 tens. Now we can subtract our tens, so we're going to cross out seven tens. Last, we have to subtract our hundreds, so we're gonna cross out two hundreds and then count what we have left to find our answer. So we have five tens left and one one left, which means our answer is 51. I hope this video helps you with all of your regrouping adventures. Come back and watch it anytime you need a quick review. Visit my channel for three digit addition and subtraction strategies and so much more. Thank you for watching.